Hey, it's Geek Public Radio right here on geekpublicradio.com. I am Topher. With me, as usual, is Crazy Chris. Konnichiwa! We're talking about a fan favorite series that, well, the game series is a fan favorite. Not a whole lot of people like the thing, but they're still sticking with it. Yes, we're talking about Halo in Season 2. And everybody is begging Schreiber to keep the helmet on, and he has words to say about that. But before we get into that, check out Geek Public Radio Geek, Geek, and uh, where you can find all of our other stuff, like videos and, and whatnots. Yeah, yeah, it's a great place to go. You can see all of our cool stuff. Uh, all the videos that we have done in the past and everything that we will be doing in the future will be available on geekpublicradio.com. If you guys are checking this out, on YouTube, make sure you click the likey button, click the subscribe button, and then you can hit that ring a ling a dingy bell to make sure that you're notified every single time that we drop a video to you. Now, this story, I almost I, I, I couldn't stop laughing there for a second, so I do apologize. Uh, and then on top of that, when you said that there's a fan favorite series, I was like, I, I got to issue an immediate correction. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we're about to add no, some stuff like, in here. Too. It was like the game is a fan <laughs> favorite. Put the disclaimer on it. <laughs> We are wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, the game the, is a fan the, favorite. The game for sure is a fan favorite. I enjoyed the Halo games. Um, probably not the newer ones as much, of course, as the classics. But I have a lot of fond memories of playing Halo with my buddies. Uh, while I was in the army, we would set up the barracks. This is back when you had to see our television, CRT TVs. And we would hook them all up, uh, hook up the Xboxes. Uh, and then we'd play like lobby games or like with LAN parties. It was freaking amazing that was a like classic halo right yeah. so when i tell you that it is a beloved franchise uh we tell you that it's a fan favorite it really yeah, is yeah, like, we weren't we weren't we're not you know yeah this is not bull crap um, but the one thing that they have managed to do is not listen to any of the fans oh no no according to uh pablo schreiber which by the way i'm just gonna preface this entire story with this dude just wants his face on TV. Yeah, no, that's literally, hundred percent. That's this. That's literally. You can you can dress up whatever selfish desire you want and whatever outfit yeah. you want to put on it. But at the end of the day, well, maybe, you just want to be on TV yeah. and you want your face to be seen. Well, that's it. May, with some of these things, I have I have a comment also. You're not for, cute. Boom. I have a comment for 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 some of this stuff, but go ahead and read. Uh, yeah, I got this. Uh, so this is coming from IGN.com. Um, headline: Pablo Schreiber thinks Master Chief doesn't need to always wear his helmet. But he is wrong. That is a great headline because I think it's succinct to the point. And uh, well, that's, that's our, our show. That's, well, our, show, that's our headline. <laughs> the, the, the IGN headline is Halo fans really want Master Chief to put his helmet back on in season two. Oh, our, so our headline is probably. Yeah, okay, our well headline. You, you got it credited to IGN.com on that. Oh, <laughs> that's where I. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> Okay, so mis misappropriated, misappropriate, mis uh, attributed, yes, right. misattributed headline. Our headline: Pablo Schreiber thinks Master Chief doesn't always need to wear his helmet, but he is wrong. That is us. We said that. Yeah. Um, Halo star Pablo Schreiber uh, from American Gods fame as Master Chief, and we see his face a fair bit in the trailer. In fact, one action sequence sees John One Seventeen fighting the Covenant without any armor at all. Instantly, mistakes. Mistakes yes. were immediately made. Um, and you and I both know. Like, isn't Master Chief like part of his armor? Like, yeah, like, like, like that, that, that literally the that's why you never see He's interfaced into his into his suit. Yes. Well, I mean, because like you see the other um Spartans who can do all of that stuff, but Master Chief never does, even in the thing, because he's a part of like it's the so the mythos surrounding that's more that Master Chief is actually um just Master Chief, right? He is not John 117. Right. He is not John Spartan. He is just Master Chief. That is his entire role. Mm -hmm. And it it has always been utilized to highlight his duty and his sense of, of self in the portrayal of his of his of, of the suit. Right? right. So you don't see John 117. You don't he makes his decisions while wearing that uniform because he feels like it's in the best interest, it, right. best, best interest of the earth. And so that's where he comes from every decision that he makes, period, the end. That is what he does, right? Um, which is in stark contrast, right, to what the what the series is trying to show us, I, which yes. I think is absolutely ridiculous. Why? <laughs> I'm going to take my mask off. How you doing? What's up? No, absolutely not. Halo Master Chief does not take his mask off. 
Well, it seems like, like one him fighting the. Didn't see his face. Yeah, the, like the whole fighting the government without armor at all. Which he would never do. Yeah. He just. No, because the covenant would tear him apart instantly. Like the coolest part about the armor is that you get the, the shield, right? It's, it's, it's designed to tank hits. Master Chief is not a ninja. <laughs> he <laughs> right. is a walking. I think the suit something like three tons or something like that. It's a, it's it. The suit is it, mechanical. It's a tank. It's a tank. He is a walking tank. Right. Which which is also what to take hits. Durr. I mean, and, and he's a Spartan, which is why he's like seven feet tall. And correct. Yeah. It's in like, uh, ugh, sorry. It always kills I me feel like, a certain type of way about this. <laughs> it always kills me when you like the scenes where there's like the Spartans are standing around and you have like all the people walking around that are like, like way shorter than he is. Yeah. yeah. Or when they're like getting in his face and they're like looking up at him, you know, and it's <laughs> like your, it's like your five foot one girlfriend getting mad at you. And you're <laughs> just like, <laughs> boop. <laughs> and then you wake up in heaven. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, obviously, Bungie developed um, the Halo series. Uh, Microsoft now owns 343 Studios. Um, the coolest part about Master Chief is that you're able to assume the role of a legendary hero. Um who doesn't have magic, who doesn't use those types of things. Now, there's a fair bit of sci-fi involved, guys. But at the same time, man, it's just usually your wits and your equipment. Um, it's like yes. it's like James Bond in the army. It's really kind of the best <laughs> way to without the espionage, right? It's, it's right. you just boom, there's your, here's your mission. Go do it. And you get it done any means necessary. Um, so to have a series and you and I have talked about this at length previously about how the series itself rarely even focused on master chief which is like the most discreditable part of this entire thing right um it's kind of like a he-man show without he-man right like we're no we wanted to focus on she-ra and skeletor like, ah, why <laughs> right <laughs> it's not why i watched the show that's not why i watched the show when i was a kid <laughs> um it, when okay so the very first episode of season one uh march 2022 uh, Pablo Schreiber explained why the decision was made for Master Chief to remove his helmet by saying, quote, one thing I learned very early on is that there's as many different opinions in the Halo universe as there are Halo fans. So obviously you're not going to be able to please everybody. But what I would say is that we are tailoring an entertainment experience that's tailored to the medium that it's for, unquote. That is drivel. That is insincere lip service. There's nothing about that that gives homage to fans. There's nothing about that that right. pays respect to the IP that is absolute hogwash in the worst sense of the word. I'm about to go off. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pulling back from the microphone. <laughs> well, don't do it too much. Um, Schreiber goes on to say, when you play a first person shooter, the way that a character is developed is very different than what's necessary when you're making long form television. First of all, <clears throat> To go on this journey with your protagonist, you're not going to be able to bring an audience along in a long form story. They have seven, eight, nine games. Yeah. So lies. There's there's plenty of stuff there to, to work with. <sighs> long form story without having to access without having access to a character's face, which tells you what they're feeling, how they think about everything. That access to a character's emotional life over the course of time is what makes you empathize and connect with a character. That is lazy. That no, that just means you can't act. Yeah. You you are unable there are to communicate several through actor, body language. There is several actors who wear masks the entire time. V for Vendetta, it comes to mind. Right. Uh let's see, V for Vendetta. You have the Mandalorian. You oh have, yeah, there we go. You have all of like there's a bunch of them that literally yes. have a mask on the entire time. And you know what they do? They emote with their body. Yep. You see the shoulders, you see the what you see the head tilts. Yeah. You see the you know, they straighten up when they're surprised about something. Yeah. Right? Like Learn they to use, act. They Learn. use voice inflection to communicate how they might be feeling about something. They right. put a question mark at the end of their sentence. Like they, it's not hard to do. And on top of that, when spoilers, guys, when which it's been several years. So if you guys don't know by now, um, when uh, uh, Din removed his mask in season one of Mandalorian, it had a huge impact on that story it meant something for him to not have the mask on and it meant something that he had to deal with the ramifications with later on correct 
which so, for Master Chief, there wouldn't be ramifications, right? In the universe that, he, right. that he's a part of, there wouldn't be ramifications for him removing but the I, mask. I, it's, so, it's just but, lazy, though, to say, uh, like, I, 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 I have to have my face. I, I can't act without you seeing my face. Um, I'm going to finish his quotes here, um, and then we'll, we'll discuss this further. Um, his, uh, to follow up to all of this, he says, I'm sorry, which no, you're not. But it's the only choice for long form story tele- uh, storytelling on television. What I would say to anybody who disagrees with that, and I totally respect that opinion, but it's a pretty basic place to start when you're talking about making television shows of quality. First of all, that is the most condescending statement right. I have ever heard. It's a basic place to start. Basic. No, you know what, buddy? You nailed it. It's yeah. super basic. 100% yeah. basic, which tells me that you are a basic actor on a basic television show. Which are probably directed right. by basic people who don't have a creative vision in their entire body. Right. So, you know what? Kudos to you for at least coming clean. You're basic. Got it. Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> Literally, the only people that liked it were the people who didn't come at it. At it. But From a fan standpoint. Yeah. They, they're like, oh, well, that was a cool whatever. I was like, but it wasn't Halo. We're like, well, oh, the guy's hot. Like, oh, yeah. So I you just like the fact that, that he is. was like naked in, 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 in some of the scenes. Like, that's literally the only reason you watched it. And, yeah, I don't know. Just was... another dehydrated bodybuilder. Right. Like, like, sorry, that's all. He's not. But no, I don't like, think he's cute. Quite li- me. I'm quite, not gay, but whatever. Quite literally, there was like, oh, well, I was like, imagine if they were like, hey, here's a series that you really like. You, right. You've done all this stuff. You know everything. You know the lore inside and out. And then people come and say, Hey, well, we're not going to pay attention to the lore as much because we're building our own thing right. that can be perfect example. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to use this as a perfect example because we're just going to flip it around, right? We're going to swap things around. If they were to make a Metroid series, now there are comics mm-hmm. which, in which this does happen, but if they were going to make a Metroid series in which Samus Aran is running around on planet Zebus, blowing up Metroids and blowing up space pirates in a bikini in a bikini <laughs> that's i mean no seriously right in a bikini because that's what she's wearing under there mm-hmm. so i mean it's in this it's in the right so right but so what nowadays, would be the, nowadays they would make her uh, a him <laughs> which would oh my god i would i think honestly if they were to ever do that i think fans would actually revolt i don't think there would ever be another metroid ever again no, I'm, I'm being quite genuine when i say that because that was the one of the coolest reveals. Uh, granted, it was a little slimy, but it was still one of the coolest. <laughs> reveals. She pops out in the bikini. She pops out of the bikini. You're like, whoa, wait. <laughs> um, but in order to even get that far, you had to be really, really stupid good at the game. Right. So uh, to be fair or type in Justin Bailey. Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> to be fair. To be fair. Um, but back to this. Um, swinging that around in that direction. To where Samus Aran is not wearing her armor when she's fighting space pirates, she would die. Mm-hmm. They they would literally like they'd be like, "Oh, <laughs> you're not wearing your fancy armor." <laughs> Bang, right, <laughs> and you're dead, right? Um, there is zero suit Samus in which there's a little bit more revealed. Like it's not quite the big tanky armor, but that's written in her character that that's how that works, right? right. So imagine changing that entire character around just to suit a television show, and then saying, "Oh, because she's in armor, she can't have." She can't emote. She can't emote, right? <laughs> and you can see through her mask, or you can see through her visor, mm-hmm. right? And that's that's something they could have done, too, right? You could have done, like, a very cool eye shot where you kind of get just the glimpse of him through his visor. That would have been neat. No, I just literally think it was like he didn't want to do anything that didn't show his face. Oh, 100%. And I, that's literally it. Absolutely 100% basic, like he said. Yeah. Just basic. Like, oh, well, you totally have to be able to see the person. Like, literally, you're coming off of a popular, like, there's a popular series. Well, it was for the first couple of seasons, anyway. anyway um, that the main character literally kept his mask on almost the entire damn time. Yeah. Yeah. This is, it's so And stupid. if he would have kept the mask on the entire time outside of those one or two spots... It still would have been a fucking good show. I agree. And it, I, you and I, like, I love how we like we actually do just agree, like, pretty much primarily 100%. There's not a lot of devil's no. advocate here. Um, this pisses me off. It makes me angry in a way that, um, and I'm not going to lose sleep over anything like that, because at the end of the day, Hollywood butchers IP. That's what they do. That's what they've right. always been good at. 
uh, especially video game adaptations. They're just Witcher, I think, by far, is probably the best job that they have ever done with a... Until they got rid of cattle. Until they got rid of cattle, right. Because Be- he was the one trying to keep them close to the Correct, thing. Which, which was awesome. It was so cool because you're sitting there going, oh, man, you think you know where it's going to go, and then you find out, oh, wow, no, they didn't. They did a really good job of right. expectation, setting tone, action sequences, drama, the romance. They did a great job of blending everything that makes The Witcher The Witcher. And they did a right. good job. Halo? Absolute abomination, and Pablo Schreiber is probably eighty percent of the reason it is. Yeah, I'm sorry. You could say that it's a just listening to him or seeing him talk about this stuff and reading what he had like, to say about it. You know, it was his decision. I literally, because I hated the way that they started the whole fight with with the Covenant and all that. Like, I hated the way. Like, there literally was a an opening thing that you could have made a, a a really good show about. Yeah. And that was quite simply the whole thing at, with Harvest. Yeah. Where the Covenant like board a, a human vessel, take to do all the stuff, and that's our first introduction in the Halo universe to the Covenant. Like they board, a, a, a like strange ship appears, Boards them, takes over, kills everybody, yada, yada, yada. People, uh, Marines fight back, you know, and yeah. that's the the first thing. You literally could have started there. <laughs> In fact, I wrote an entire first episode that starts from there just to say, this is how you should have fucking done it. Right. Which made tremendously more sense from an organic storytelling point of view. Than anything that they've right. done with this show. The whole idea, well, you that's already, the, you know the, how that ends. Like, why would you want to watch that? It was because the story, why yeah. would, you're basically, you're saying, like, why would I, when, now that I've watched your series, why would I ever want to watch it again? Right. Because I like the story, I'll watch it again. Later, yeah. like, it'll be some time down the road, I'll, oh, I yeah, really and if like you that. Change, and you I'd can watch change it again. things here or there, you can move stuff around. Right, you can, you but can make at least different. stay with the lore that people that way people have an anchor into your universe, yeah. rather than making something that has a built-in fan base into a generic space movie. It's not, and what's what's worse, basic. Make sure you keep using the word basic. <laughs> basic. <laughs> it's a basic. I just the presumptuous arrogance of that statement makes me so angry. Right. It's a basic, but it's a pretty basic place to start when you're talking about making a television show. For, like, he didn't even have to add that last part, but he's basically saying, oh, because mm-hmm. I don't show my face, it's a better quality TV show than than other shows that, that have characters yeah. in masks. Like I said, Mandalorian is way more popular than, than Halo. So, it, it's, so apparently it's more popular, that, and I think it was better written, and I think it was yeah. better executed. So basically what you're saying mm-hmm. is, is that uh, you don't know... Your ass from all in the ground. He's one because of the everything you play. literally said <laughs> was proven false the same time you were fucking doing this. Yeah, absolutely unconscionable the things that he said. I don't agree with anything that he has to say about it. I just don't no. full on hard stop. And disagree. I mean, I mean, I was a fan of like I, I liked him in American Gods, where he played uh uh Mad Sweeney. Like I just don't think he's like, cute, and his his arrogance doesn't. I don't. No, no, like this he is literally not filling. He's not cashing the check, right? His, it, no, <clears throat> you don't see him in anything else. Yeah, like if he would, if probably because of shit like this, <laughs> right? You know, it was like he, Mad Sweeney. He did a really good job playing that, and then as soon as I was like, okay, well, like with him doing it, okay, I can see he's a bigger guy. Yada yada yada. We can. And then, like, the moment he, like, it started off, it's like, what, where are we? Like, why are we in this generic backwater? <laughs> why are we doing this stuff? Like, there are some things that was like, okay, well, I see, like, him running up and grabbing something and doing a flip and throwing whatever. And, like, some of the action sequences were like, okay, I, that's video game-esque. Like, I, that's cool. But stick to the story. Stick to the lore. Right. Keep the fucking mask on. Please, you're not cute. And, 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 <laughs> and just tell the story that the fans are wanting to see, right? And not what you think. And hold on. And now, to, to, this is the I, I to be fair. 
you can change some of the story. I'm not even really mad about that. I'm not. No, it's like you can tell a different story. That's I'm not really. There's an entire fine. universe to, of stories to yes, tell. There's and you can go down but, the, all those routes, but stop changing the character to fit the story you're writing. Right. Change this. Change the story, or change. Don't change the character to fit the story. Change the story to fit the character. It's not hard to do. These characters are well, who they, it's like it's like rewriting all of James Bond to fit your story. Right. It's so stupid. You're rewriting James Bond to fit Robert Pat Patterson. Right. Or 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 to like rewriting the entire mythos of of James Bond so that a, a woman can play him or can right. play that character. Right. A woman can play 007. Right, because 007 is just a, a 007 is just a designation for the agent. In fact, they kind of did that in the last one where like, yes, well, I'm absolutely. 007 like, oh, well, you know, we thought and you were dead. And you know dead. what was great? <laughs> we thought you were dead. Correct. And <laughs> you, you know, know what was great about that? Didn't affect how the story played out because no. it was still a 007 agent story. It was still a story yeah. about James Bond. You can still you can do that. You can have a story that doesn't change the character. You can do that. It's a cool thing. It's really neat. It's not, it's not laziness and it's not basic. I've seen them do it. So basically what you're saying is you're a bad actor and you're just not very good at <laughs> right. this and you don't give a single crap about any of the fans that made this entire production possible. possible. Right. You don't care. But that's so like I that's said. That's cool. So stick you can to the kiss my basic <laughs> ass. How about stick, that? Stick to the character. Stick to this, the, the lore that you have. There's many, many stories to tell. There's a lot of battles with the Covenant. There's different things going on. Put it in the same world. Make the world that people recognize. Right. People will come and watch it if it's in a world they recognize. If it's a character they recognize. Yep. And on that note, yeah. <laughs> before I start yelling and we're here for <laughs> another 25 minutes. <laughs> Pablo Schreiber can kiss our basic ass and he can go right back to the basics and learn how to act. <laughs> right. There we go. And on that note, I am Tover. I'm Crazy Chris, y'all. We will see you on the next video. Take care.